Oh, right. What's up, everybody? Sewer Badger here with the cast. So it's a little different from what's normal. It is a clan war. Since I already was playing in game one, this is game two between up here in the uh, top right, representing Pigpen with a different type than what you would expect. It is Garethax. Already going for a standard opening, probably. A uh, it's going to be a Nexus before Core. More standard opening. But here we are with something a little different from our friend representing no cap is Rotato. We're already going to be seeing a proxy hatch out of Rotato, so we're going to see what Garethax has in store for us. Is he going to be able to defend it? Is he going to be able to hold it? Looks like it's going to be a spine rush out of Rotato. I remember Harston doing a video on this, so maybe Rotato has some high expectations for this. I have no idea. Oh, play. Oh, no. Brote oh, no, oh, I was thinking for a moment he's going to try to uh, place the hatchery right next to that one, but it looks like it is going to be a spine rush. It, it gets scouted by Garethax, who chronos out his zealot, but I'm not sure that's going to be able to kill this before it gets out, and... Spine crawlers tend to kill zealots really quickly. The battery goes down on the natural, but I don't think you really want that. You, I think you want a high ground wall off, because this is going to fall pretty quickly. Some zerglings are coming, or some more drugs are coming across the map. And some zerglings are also going to be following a, a probe, checking out here to make sure Rotato doesn't take a natural. However, I don't think this is going to be going well for our friend Garethax, who desperately needs something on the high ground. He does not want that pylon right there. He wants it right over here. But is he going to hold? He loses the Zealot, and that is a lot of damage output that he could have used. Two, another Stalker starting up. A Robo Baby started on the high ground. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. This core is in an uncomfortable position of being able to be sniped by this, and Rotato is indeed going to be able to take advantage of that fully. Garethax not able to do anything about this as if he had a battery being placed over here so that a unit can be um, can be healed over here, but I don't think that's going to be able to do much. Stalkers move forward to try to take out this, but there's already more uh, more spines than he can really deal with. And I don't know, man. This is going to be really rough if Garethax holds this. No more units being pro... Uh, no more youth be produced for Garethax. I don't think that's what you want here. That may be the end of Garethax, who is only producing one stalker, doesn't have a, has an immortal on the way. But already these these spines are hungry for damage. Hungry, hungry, hungry spine crawlers. Ah, uh, this is not going well. Uh, you might expect because I'm Pigpen and I, I was representing uh, them, but in this game, in this clan war, I was representing no cap, and I only have enough time for a cast before the Space Marines crawl in, and the walls open, and the Zerglings get in. My friends, this may be the end of Garethax, who is suffering from massive hemorrhaging on the bottom, on the low ground. Nothing else being started up over here. No units, no more units to be produced for. Garethax, and that is GG, I think. Sooner or later, it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be Garethax top, uh, tapping out for the game because Brotato has breached the wall. He's able to repair it pretty decently, but it's more Zerglings coming in, more units on the way for Brotato, more uh, not enough units are coming out for Garethax, who has more stuff rep being rallied across the map. Another super battery goes down, but is it going to be enough? I don't think so, and this may be the end of Garethax as we know it. More links coming in, link speed is finished up, and that uh, and that immortal has gone down, and that is the end of Garethax. Brotato takes the win. Holy crap. It has been a cheese after a cheese, and I will be casting that game from me. Uh, between my, me and... Uh... Me and Drachnus, where I cheesed the stuffing out of him. <laughs> and, uh, I'll cast that, and uh, I'll be posting it. Hope you all enjoyed that cast. Hope you all enjoyed that really short game. And I will see you for the next one.